back here at home and the author of the new book, Catch and Kill, Ronan Farrow, right here tonight. In the new book, the new allegation involving Matt Lauer, claims of pressure on Farrow to stop reporting on Harvey Weinstein. And tonight, Farrow, who says spies were hired to follow him during all this. Here's ABC's Lindsay Davis. In his new book, Catch and Kill, Ronan Farrow takes aim at NBC, alleging the company was aware of claims of misconduct by Matt Lauer years before the bombshell allegation that Lauer raped a former staffer, an allegation Lauer staunchly denies. Lauer was then fired in 2017, 24 hours after the accuser went to HR. At the time, the head of NBC News said it was the first complaint about Lauer's behavior in over 20 years. You're saying that's a lie? The evidence in this book, the documentation and paper trail of settlements, reveals that there were multiple uh, arrangements to keep women quiet who had allegations against Matt Lauer years before this one that got him fired. Farrell claims NBC halted his investigation into alleged abuse by Harvey Weinstein because of intimidation by Weinstein. This week, NBC said Farrell simply didn't have a story that met our standard for broadcast because it lacked accusers willing at that point to go on the record and have their names used. In his book, Farrell chronicles how his investigation took him on a harrowing journey it reads like a Hollywood script of espionage and sabotage, claiming Weinstein hired private investigators who followed him and other reporters and initiated smear campaigns against Weinstein's accusers. When you start to suspect you're being followed, you start to see the same people behind you on the street, and you're looking over your shoulder a lot, and you're seeing a car parked outside of your apartment at all hours, and you're ultimately moving out of your home to try to stay safe, that is an upsetting and alarming situation. Farrow says one of the things that helped break this story was that one of the same spies who was allegedly paid to hack his phone and follow him ultimately ended up developing a conscience about it, and he says they came forward, told Farrow what was allegedly happening. David. Wow. Lindsay Davis, you're going to have much more of this interview with Ronan Monday night on Nightline. That's correct. All right, see you then. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.